<laughs> Today she's romping around with her family in the lounge, but only a short while ago things looked pretty bleak for Emily. 85% of children respond well to chemotherapy, but Emily had undergone two courses of treatment to no avail. They took us out in the hall and said, there is no room to get sicker. She is as sick as you can get. You know, they said, you, you should call your family in. Um, there's a pretty good chance she won't be here in the morning. Last April, Emily became one of a dozen people to try a radical new type of therapy. The idea is that we're redirecting the cells of the immune system against the cancer. Millions of white blood cells called T cells were removed from the patients. Using the disabled form of HIV, these were modified to attack cancer cells before being put back into their systems. Inside the body, the manipulated T cells recognized the green cancer cells and destroyed them. Swiss scientists are also working hard at developing new forms of cancer treatment. Cancer specialist Adrian Ochsenbein says the new findings from Philadelphia are groundbreaking. We can certainly say that it's an important study. We've long dreamed of finding a way to use our own immune systems to fight cancer. But only 12 patients have used the treatment. More tests are necessary, and comparisons made with the usual therapies as well as new immune therapies that are competing with the Philadelphia treatment. Adrian Oxenbein's team at the University Hospital in Bern is also working on an innovative therapy which will use the body's immune system to fight cancer. But in this case, the highly effective T cells would not be extracted from the body but manipulated using natural molecular cues inside the body. The immune system is controlled by signals which either enable or inhibit. It's like regulating the petrol and brakes in a car to control its speed. We can reduce the brake function so that the immune system can attack cancer cells, but also our own cells. This is already a routine treatment for skin cancer. There are new treatments that block a key signaling protein responsible for the spread of malignant melanomas. It's estimated that about half of melanomas carry the mutated form of the gene that allows the drug to work. These pictures show how a cancer that is spread to the lungs shrinks after three months of treatment. But this approach can have side effects. If you reduce your body's breaking mechanism, the immune system can start to attack the patient's own skin or internal organs as well. A lot of work still needs to be done to improve this kind of therapy. In Bern, scientists are hoping to use this procedure in the fight against leukemia. We're now studying similar signals to help the immune system fight the tumours in a more targeted way, without having to worry about damaging other organs. This works with leukaemia, for example. When you inhibit signals in leukaemia stem cells, this directly eliminates the original leukaemia cells. In preclinical models, we've been able to treat leukaemia like this. So far, we've carried out successful tests on animals and using human cells in test tubes. This image shows the blood count of a sick mouse. After treatment, the picture is much improved. So far, we haven't been able to treat patients directly. We're hoping to do this in the next year. In Philadelphia, they're a step further. Treatments are being used on humans. But this new approach still has to be tested on a lot more people to prove its effectiveness. Emily's lucky. She's now been in remission for eight months. We can't find any leukemia in her body using the most sensitive tests that we have. Only in a few years will it be possible to tell whether Emily has been completely cured.